Hello, hello everyone. This is a special video. It is a Royal Rumble 2014 predictions vid. Yes, the Royal Rumble is tonight. Tonight. And I've got winners. Because I'm pretty darn smart. And because to be you're a bunch of bumbling idiots when it comes to predictability. But with that said, this is also kind of a sneak preview of what's to come from Code Equestria's newest channel, Code Equestria Sports, starting up next Sunday. Yes, next Sunday. We're going to start a new channel around these parts. An all sports and wrestling affiliated channel as an extension to the Code Equestria family. Well, let's get down to business. The pre-show has the WWE Tag Team Champions, Cody Rhodes and Gold Dist, also known as the Brotherhood, taking on the New Age Outlaws. Yes, that New Age Outlaws. It has been nearly Nearly 15 or 16 years since the New Age Outlaws won a WWE Tag Team Championship. In fact, I can give you the year. The year was 1998 when they last held the Tag Team Championship. And probably the last year that DX was all together as well. This is a great way to start the Royal Rumble out with the Tag Team Championships at play. Don't, don't be fooled. The New Age Outlaws will most certainly bring it and bring it hard. It will be an entertaining and very, very technically sound match. But don't expect the titles to switch. Remember... Remember, Billy Gunn and Jesse James have not been on a steady WWE wrestling diet in more than a decade. So for the WWE to be foolish enough to put the titles on them would be, quite frankly, stupid and naive. This... This also leads me to believe that this might be the father of its last title defense before losing either to the Usos or the Wyatts. But, but, once again, the New Age Outlaws will put on a show and have a superb match. But expect the Brotherhood to remain your WWE Tag Team Champions. Also, as we get to the main card, there are only five matches on the main card, mainly because of the length of the Royal Rumble, which is usually an hour and 30 minute long match. The first of these major matches are the Big Show and Brock Lesnar. This will be a fight. This will not be a wrestling match. Brock Lesnar usually usually turns matches into brawls and the and the big show automatically will will feed right into that. This match will probably go a good thirty minutes to forty minutes, but don't expect the big show to walk out the winner here. They're really trying to set up Brock Lesnar as a championship contender. And him losing to the Big Show in his big comeback to in-ring competition would not be a good way to set up a possible Brock Lesnar championship run after WrestleMania 30. So, Brock Lesnar, although he's going to get beat up in this match and match and probably take an injury or two will probably overcome with his signature Kamora lock for the victory here. But don't be surprised if the match ends up short 
and both of these competitors end up in the Rumble match as one of the final 10 unconfirmed participants in the match. Now, yes, the Divas Championship supposedly is going to be on the line, but it might be a last-minute ad match. As for the matches we do know, Daniel Bryant will take on Bray Wyatt, finally, one-on-one. Now, many people suspect that this will easily go to Daniel Bryant to set up to continue the storyline, but ultimately to also set up a push for Daniel Bryant post-WrestleMania 30. Although that may be true, true, the Wyatt family has gotten a major, major push in, in both tag team and goals competition. Having Bray Wyatt win here would add another, another contestant to the Intercontinental or U.S. title runs. And seeing that the U.S. title has gotten stale over the last few months by by being on Dean Ambrose of the Shield, having somebody like the Wyatts involved would make it interesting. So, although although Daniel Bryan is going to get some amount of revenge, expect Bray Wyatt, especially with the help, help of Rowan and Harper, to come out ahead and gain the victory, thus maintaining... The Wyatt family steadfast momentum, momentum to the top of the heap. As for the match that I care about, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, which should be called the Undisputed Championship, John Cena, Randy Orton, match number six. Yes, this is the sixth time these two have competed for a championship title, and as per the rules from Stephanie McMahon and Triple H, this will be done 80s old school. Pinfall or submission must be a winner. Now, Monday Night Raw might give you the impression that John Cena is going to win his 15th world cha- championship title. No. Randy Orton's quick, quick championship reign was just to put John Cena in a championship position for a possible rematch with Daniel Bryan. Although, I do believe in the theory. Fear, don't believe in it all the way. But, what I do believe is simply this. John Cena, this time, will not be denied. The truth of the matter is, nobody's really buying into the World Heavyweight weight title yet. Why? Mainly because of how Orton won it. And the fact that Orton, Orton is dying out. Yes, they could have Orton retain for a possible rivalry with Batista, which I'll get to him later. But having John Cena... Cena being the champion going into WrestleMania is the best play for pay-per-view views. Although, many wrestling fans will scoff at John Cena being one short of the legendary record set by Ric Flair of 16 World Championships. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Cena haters, you're going to have to come close to the reality that 17 may be possible, and it may be John Cena that gets it. Although, reports have it saying that this 15th run might be the last. So, cherish this one while you've got it. The C-Nation will once again rule as your undisputed champion before we enter the Rumble, Rumble match proper. With a great entertaining match that may turn into a bloody street ball. Expect expect announcers tables and whatever else could 
could be used, but expect an attitude adjustment and expect a John Cena victory victory and your second undisputed champion in the new era. As for the Rumble itself, the Rumble is often unpredictable fun. It is an hour and 30 minutes of continuous wrestling and one of my favorite matches of the year in totality. Now, as for the wrestlers coming back to the Rumble, expect Sheamus to return from injury and maybe, just maybe, for the heck of it, a possible Undertaker sighting? Yes, I know it's weird, but a couple of weeks ago on Raw, I noticed a small couple of viral glitches, one of which had the Undertaker's signature cross in it. Yes, it was only for a mere second, but could they be possibly teasing the return of the dead man, seeing that it is, in fact, his season now once again? But seeing Sheamus return from injury will, will be a breath of fresh air for the WWE writers. But... I would also expect your one or two shockers, possibly RBD, and rumor has it that AJ Styles might make his WWE Day view here at the Rumble. And Chris, if you pull the crap with the return at the Rumble match again, I might have to slap somebody. Although, I won't be too mad at you. There are 10 un unfulfilled spots. And expect maybe the return of Jake the Snake Roberts as well for a quickie. And your obvious Hacksaw Jim Duggan reference as well. But ultimately, when the rumble comes down to it, it's about winners. Expect the final four, final four to be the returning Batista, Alberto De Rio, yes, CM Punk at the number one hole, and 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 also here's a good shocker. Expect Roman Reigns in the final. Final, final 10 to survive. Roman Reigns is getting a serious final, serious solo push. And him having a strong show at the Rumble would reflect that. But ultimately, at the end of the day, will Batista win the Rumble? No. Uh, I, ex I expect... I expect in in a shocking shocking twist for Brock Lesnar to be entered last minute in the rumble and win the match the, thus setting up the fact that Lesnar is next in line but also expect some stars to be born if not Lesnar, it will probably be Batista, which unfortunately makes this year one of the most predictable Rumble matches. Hopefully, for all its predictability, it will be equally as fun to watch. Whether you believe in my opinions or not, that's up to you. But, when they happen, and trust me when it comes to me and wrestling, they usually do. Just know that I made you money. But either way, enjoy the rumble tonight. Find peace in your own nirvana.